Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. Going to talk to you today about the deadliest type of delay. And no, it's not analog delay. It's not digital delay. It's not slapback delay. It's not groove delay. It's not beat delay. Uh, it's what I call gear delay. Okay? I got gotcha. you. You thought I was talking about delays. This is something that plagues everybody. I, I'm guilty of it. I'm sure you're probably guilty of it too. Here's how it works. Let's say you've got your studio and you've got a new piece of gear that you either are about to buy or you've already purchased and maybe it's shipping in a week or two. And then a session comes along. Somebody says, hey, can you record acoustic guitar for me? And you say, yes. Now, here's where the gear delay kicks in. You say, yes, I can, but let me wait until I get this new piece of gear. It's going to make it sound better. It'll be totally worth it. Let's wait until then. So the, the, the client may agree to that, but then what happens if the gear gets delayed or if you don't quite have enough money to buy it or if there's a back order or if there's a technical issue and you have to send it back? Suddenly you start pushing the session back and there's more delay, more postponing, and the project doesn't happen. Or probably maybe a little closer to home for you, maybe you're working on your own project, maybe an album, and you think, I'm going to get this thing done. But then you think to yourself, you know, before I record vocals, I want to get this new microphone. Next thing you know, it's been six months and you haven't worked on the project because you've been saving up for this microphone. And then you get the microphone, you do some vocals, then you think, you know what? I need this new preamp for my guitar parts. Let me save up and buy that and then I'll finish the album. And you end up in this constant cycle of gear delay where you postpone actually working on projects until you have amassed this perfect collection of gear to get everything perfect. I got news for you. It's still not going to be perfect. And the same thing is happening to me. I've got some gear coming in in the next couple of days, but I've got a client who wants me to record acoustic guitar. I could postpone, <clears throat> you do some sort of gear delay, but instead I'm going to record it for him. I'm going to make it sound great, and then I'll use the new gear on the next project he has for me, rather than pushing him back. So if you find yourself getting all tied up in gear delay, stop, put the magazine down, grab the gear that you own, and record something great.